For those of you who don't know me, I'm Serenity Love. And today, as you saw in the thumbnail, we will be doing a pinch me unboxing. She heavy. Never gotten one that's heavy. For those of you who don't know, pinch me is a website that allows you to try different items. Sometimes it's three up to five items, just depend on if you quick draw McGraw and you can get on the website on that Tuesday that they open it up. Take the shopper survey, telling them about you and your shopping habits. And then on sample day, you pick those items that you know they have up for grabs. In return, you give them your honest opinion about it. Sometimes it's just coupons, a couple of dollars off. Sometimes it's coupons for free um, items. Then sometimes you are chosen to receive full size items is what I'm guessing because like I said, y'all, I never received anything this heavy. It's just whatever they feeling like to give away. Let's tear into her and see what I got. I got some goodies. Full size. Hey, hey, hey. This is the Nivea, Nivea, Nivea Nourishing Body Wash with Nourishing Serum. Y'all. Yeah. It's full size and it's new. It's the new new, okay? Pampering body wash. So they're both body washes. This is the pampering body wash with nourishing serum. And it's cocoa and shea butter. And this one is shea butter. So yeah, y'all better check pinch me out. I've been a pincher for about a year now. This is my first time getting something like this. This wasn't one of those that you picked. This is something that they just said, oh, okay, we're gonna send this to you. I think they sent me a email or something, like a survey asking me about questions or something. I really don't know, cause y'all, I do surveys all the time, all the time. Let's see what it smells like. Hmm, cocoa and shea, it smells like cocoa and shea butter. Ooh, this one smells really good. It smells like it ought to have some lavender in it. Smell wise, this one is my favorite. It contains plant derived ingredients, microplastic particle free, paraben free, and it's in a recyclable bottle. It says that it gently cleanses and leaves your skin feeling pampered. Long lasting moisture leaving skin feeling soft and smooth all day. Relaxing cocoa butter scent on this one. So it says to pamper your skin, pour, lather, rinse, that's it. I finished this video, we're gonna go have them show some we're gonna go show some self-love. I got my little loofah. And yeah, I'm gonna see what these are all about. Your exclusive product trial starts now. Please keep an eye out for a follow-up email from Pinch Me with instructions on what to do next. So yeah, that's Pinch Me. And normally that's what you get. A little, it's a little not this little, of course, but it's a um a, a smaller size box, maybe. This, yeah, right here, whatever, and around. I am so excited. And y'all, it's, it's like up here, so I'm excited. Go and check out Pinch Me. Not sponsored, by the way. Go, go and do it. Because I've received so many nice things from Pinch Me. Food, um, food, I say food. <laughs> y'all know what time it is. It's time for our nuggets of love, y'all. Other day, I was driving on my way to work. And you know, I have uh, about a 30, 35 minute commute. And so I had the music playing in the background, but you know, I'm not really listening to it. I'm just driving and thinking, you know? And so I started having a conversation with the Lord. And I'm like, Lord, what's really going on? I done stepped out on faith and came up here to this city. Don't get me wrong, Lord. I, I thank you and I appreciate you that all our needs are met. But Father God, when, world, can I, come on now, can we get some wants, man? I mean, I, what is it? I know what it is. Um, I know who it is. It's my husband. He, I know he needs to stop doing some of this stuff that he's doing. And maybe he needs to start doing something. Yeah, this this is the conversation that I'm having in my car. I know people think I'm crazy while they driving. It's like, who's she talking to? Because I'm I'm really giving it to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? I'm really giving it to him. So then all of a sudden, it was like, boom. You know, almost like a pinch. Like he pinched me almost. You know what I'm saying? Not really, but 
we're gonna go with that, okay? You know, I'm talking and talking, and then it just boom in my spirit. It's like, what what make you think it's him? Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you that's hearing her and the wants being met. What are you saying? What are you not saying? What are you doing? What are you not doing? Stop pointing the finger at him and look at yourself. What are you doing? Look, take a long look at yourself in the mirror. You know, and so I'm like, all this time, you know, I'm looking at my husband side eyed because I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's what you doing. What you, what you ain't doing. You're not, you're not doing, you know, Matthew 7, 1 through 5 says, do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. First, take the plank out of your own eye. Then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Yeah, when when I got that pinch of, you know, check yourself out, sister. I was like, oh, wow, forgive me, Lord, you know, and thank you. I, I began to thank the Lord because, you know, we found ourselves wanting to blame others for something that is not going on correct or how we expect it to be going on in our life and at the time that we think that it should be happening you know for us we want to blame put the blame on somebody else when in reality at all times we should always examine ourselves lamentation says let us test and examine our ways and then return to the lord you know and so after that you know i i've i've really been taking a look at myself and, and, you know, trying to focus on what I'm doing or what I'm not doing, what I'm saying, what I'm not saying, you know, because like I always tell y'all, death and life is in the power of the tongue. We can frame our world with our words. If we speak in, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. You know what? You ain't gonna have it. But when you begin to speak those things that be not as though they are, watch it come into existence. Because the Bible is true. God's word never lies. It will not return to us void. But when we speak his word, it will go out and do that thing that we've spoken. So that's what it's all about. It's about us, you know, first of all, examining ourselves. And then speaking that word, you know, your situation ain't what you want it to be. Speak what you want it to be. Speak it into existence. If you don't think you ever do wrong and it's always someone else's fault because of things that happen or don't happen in your life, you are full of pride and you need to be set free. But when you wake up and realize, okay, Lord, it's me. It's me standing in the need of prayer. Then, you know, you can stop looking at your husband side eyed. Like, mm -hmm, you the reason that we ain't, no. Check yourself out, sister girl, okay? When you do that, God got something he can work with because you're no longer in pride and you're malleable, you know? He can shape and mold you to be the person that he wants you to be. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Y'all, go check out Pinch Me. Become a pincher. And yeah, get you some goodies too. Talk to y'all later. Bye.